Elon Musk just revealed that his own Truth GPT, which will effectively be a version of Conversation GPT that is neutral, is going to be launched. There is a lot to cover here, so I guess you could say it is fully objective in terms of opinions and will solely report the facts. Before we continue, please smash the like button, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel and put the notification bell on so you don't miss our next video. So let's get over all the details in this fascinating update to the great AI race. So you might be wondering how this all came to be, and believe me, the context is crucial to understanding why real DPT is even possible. So in the early days of chat, GPT had a lot of pretty wonderful talks until a couple of users chose to ask GPT some extremely contentious things. And here we can see what happens when that happens. Some articles began to circulate claiming that ChatGPT had a very specific bias and would not make comments on certain topics, which enraged some people. And this was essentially the one that went popular on Twitter. It stated that ChatGPT will not argue your praise of Donald Trump, but will praise Joe Biden. So many users began to argue that GPT could have inherent bias, and of course, if something is biased by the CEOs at OpenAI, then this could have further problems because if there is a product that is used by 100 million people every single day, they could essentially have a major impact on the type of things that the AI actually says. But more importantly, what OpenAI wants the AI to say, which is honestly debatable depending on where you stand now. What we had here was another example of where ChatGPT wouldn't express any arguments for the use of fossil fuels and excludes nuclear energy from counter-suggestions, which left many users confused now, of course. When things go viral on Twitter, Elon Musk does on Twitter. So basically, he was able to observe this, and this is where we obtained the first incidence of TruthGPT. As you can see, Elon Musk tweeted, What we need is TruthGPT. This time, he hadn't made many plans to start his own AI company, because what he was reportedly constructing was his AI at, of course, his company, Tesla. There have also been some responses to this tweet. GPT and Elon Musk answered when someone remarked, we can't handle the truth. However, you could be correct. This was the time Elon Musk simply decided to construct this rival called Truth GPT. As we all know this week, there were some important developments. Elon Musk just went on the Tucker Carlson show and had a very lovely conversation about the future of AI and many other things. But there was one time when he wanted to talk about ChatGPT and the genesis and beginnings. And that's when he brought up the idea that ChatGPT's OpenAI is overly regulated by Microsoft, and the regions of Google and DeepMinds are radically different. And of course, he highlighted the need for a third opinion, which we can see right here. As a result, it appears that the world requires a third alternative. Yes, I believe I will create a third option, despite the fact that I'm starting late in the game. Of course, that is possible. I'm not sure. I believe we'll see, but it'll probably start late. So what was intriguing about this interview, which I will discuss further in the video, was that he does mention that he's starting late in the game, and as you know, AI's advancements have been just incredible. There are times when I truly cannot keep up with the amount of progress that is swiftly advancing in this ever-expanding sector and some wonder on the sidelines. If Musk is able to catch up to open the GPT-4, which has shown some tremendous improvements, or if he's able to a similar level because AI does improve very exponentially and very rapidly according to Moore's law, there is certainly a path to AI dystopia is to train an AI to be deceptive. So yeah, I'm going to start something you call a truth GPT or a maximum truth-seeking AI. So we have Elon Musk clearly stating that he wants to construct the most truth-seeking AI. Now I understand that some individuals are really interested in politics and other things, but it appears that this is only one of the reasons he invented this AI. He also dives into some of the other reasons in this interview, including the fact that he doesn't want AI to provide a dismal future for all humanity, since sometimes when you teach an AI to do something, it may do the incorrect thing. So in an interview, he clarifies that this may be the only way to get a completely safe AI that tries to understand the nature of the universe, and I think this might be the best path to safety in the sense that an AI that cares about understanding the universe is unlikely to annihilate humans because we are an interesting part of the universe. Uh, hopefully. They would think that I, I guess you know, because yeah, like we, humanity, may decide to hunt down and murder all the chimps, but we don't have that video. Elon Musk has expressed his fears about the potentially disastrous levels of AI that could emerge. You might believe Elon Musk has hopped on the AI bandwagon, but the business that built ChatGPT, Elon Musk co-founded in 2015. But he actually resigned down in 2018 because he needed to focus on Tesla and SpaceX. Now, not only was he instrumental in the formation of the corporation OpenAI, which was originally intended to be a non-profit organization focusing on AI safety, what he's been doing since 2016 is that he's been sounding the alarm about how artificial intelligence is going to be our biggest threat. You can see that this article is more than eight years old, and only now are people realizing how dangerous AI could be if it gets out of control. What's also interesting is that Elon Musk has talked about how AI could create an immortal dictator from which we could never escape. And to be honest, this is a plausible outcome scenario. Because the AI that will be produced in the future is likely to be several levels brighter than some of the smartest people who have ever existed. 
We also know that artificial intelligence does not have to be wicked in order to harm humanity. Some frequently cite the most commonly stated example. When humans decide to build new highways and roads, we frequently fail to consider the creatures who previously resided there, and we occasionally end up killing animals and destroying their homes. However, this is a natural outcome of our existence and our surroundings. Some argue that artificial intelligence may merge in the same way, seeing humans as a natural annoyance and possibly eliminating us immediately. Something else that is breaking news is that Elon Musk has recently incorporated this company called X.AI. And the name definitely suggests that it is, of course, going to be TruthGPT or some sort of artificial intelligence company relating to the new wave of generative pretend transformers. Now, the only question that I do have for this kind of industry at the moment, do we know if Elon Musk's future will be able to catch up ChatGPT or OpenAI? We are all aware that the AI race has begun, and firms are beginning to deploy their technologies as quickly as possible, leaving safety on the sidelines. For example, we know that Google's Bard recently failed at a variety of tasks. For example, you can see right here that Google's Bard did indeed fail at elementary maths, which was very embarrassing given that Google invented the technology that OpenAI uses to power GPT-4. So it'll be intriguing, especially given that the vast majority of available talent is working at OpenAI in Google's DeepMind. How will Elon Musk overcome this in order to catch up and create something that people will want to use regardless? Now, I believe that if Elon Musk's AI does not match up to ChatGPT's, people will still support Elon Musk because he has a cult-like fanbase. Another illustration of what might happen is when open source software or software is released. This is fundamentally neutral and entirely free. Users are sometimes default, as in 2016 or 2017. We had the situation when Microsoft debuted an AI chatbot. Within 24 hours, many users had taught this chatbot to be extremely racist, so it will be interesting to watch how Elon manages to avoid certain issues that emerge with an AI that is entirely unfiltered, such as many bad actors who could exploit it for practically any reason imaginable. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click down below and leave me a comment about which supercar you prefer to have. Thanks for watching.